my GCSE biology addressing syllabus statement 410 here we're focusing on the nitrogen cycle nitrogen is the most abundant atmospheric gas up around 78 79 percent of our atmosphere but it's fairly unreactive for living things the importance of nitrogen is that plants can take in the form of nitrogen called nitrate. Nitrate. You can take in this and it's able to manufacture amino acids. Amino acids are then combined together into a polymer to form protein. So here we have the molecule required for growth. Nitrogen is also important in the molecule D. N A. You can remember this with the N for nitrogen, the N for nitrogen, and the N for nitrogen here. Amino acids contain nitrogen, protein contains nitrogen, DNA contains nitrogen, and carbohydrates, well they don't have an N, so they don't contain nitrogen. Okay, that's our first thing. Second thing. So how do plants get nitrate? Well, it's known that lightning can combine atmospheric nitrogen with oxygen to form nitrate um, and the lightning has sufficient energy to bring about this but of course this is relatively rare and doesn't give us enough nitrate for plants growth so how else does this occur um, as we've previously mentioned, in our nitrogen cycle we expect to see nitrate taken up into the plant and here to be formed into amino acids. It's one of the remarkable biochemistry things that plants can do. They can form the, bio, uh, the amino acid which contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen and of course the amino acids are then built up into proteins. So that's another stage in our nitrogen cycle to identify. Having identified that stage we would then expect to find um, the food chain now in the food chain, the producer is eaten by the primary consumer and in turn by the secondary consumer and so on. And the nitrogen passes through the trophic levels in feeding in the form of protein. that's the cycling the passage of nitrogen through living things now, of course all animals carry out the process of nitrogen excretion and usually uh, in the form of urea this would be a most normal way to know this plus water gives you urine so this is a return here of nitrogen from the trophic levels back into soil. So now we've got these molecules are in the soil. These same animals along with the plants will die and this is brings in the decomposers once more and the decomposers can take the uh, the urine or the urea along with the decaying organic molecules and they can break these down into a molecule called ammonia so that's NH3 there's the nitrogen the nitrogen is in the urea by the way so now we've got the 
nitrogen has been in living things, it's been in plants, it's been in animals, and now it's been returned to the soil in the form of ammonia. But you'll remember that ammonia is not the form that the plants want, and so it's necessary to convert this ammonia into what's called NO2 minus, this is called nitrite, and then NO2 minus can be converted into NO3 nitrate by a group of bacteria called nitrifying bacteria. So now we've got the nitrate back to the plants ready to be absorbed and recycled in the plants. In addition to this, it's known that plants, if we look beneath the surface and down into the root system, we find that in the soil there's a type of bacteria which is free living not directly associated with the plant. There's bacteria there and what this bacteria can do is take atmospheric nitrogen and turn it into nitrate like this. Now when we say atmospheric nitrogen the nitrogen is actually in the air in the soil. Also we find that there are in some plants structures on the root called nodules. Now this is true of plants called the legumes. The leguminous plants such as beans and clover and once more once more these bacteria are capable of taking atmospheric nitrogen and turning it into nitrate for the plant. Finally, to complete parts of the cycling of nitrogen, let's consider the last part, which is the presence in the soil of the nitrifying bacteria and in the metabolism of these uh, uh, organisms what they do is that they take nitrate and they convert it back to nitrogen and so that's also com completing part of our cycle as before what we need to do now to consolidate this work is google nitrogen cycle go to the images and you need to go through two or three different diagrams of the nitrogen cycle identifying the stages that I've seen you above and it's this reinforcement which will develop your understanding and prepare you for the diagram that you need to interpret in your examination.